Okay, the first angle we're asked to find here is angle ACD. Angle ACD is this one here. And I'm going to use the alternate segment property. We have here our tangent. Here we have a triangle, which means that this angle here, the 54 degrees, is going to be the same as this one up here. So angle ACD is actually 54 degrees, and the reason is that it's the angle in the alternate segment. Question now says, why is BD the diameter of the circle? So if I just draw in BD, there it is, it goes through the centre of the circle. If that's the diameter, then we know that the angle in the semicircle must be a right angle. Now the angle in the semicircle, this is the diameter, there's the centre, should be this one up here. And if we add 54 and 36, or 54 plus 36 is 90 degrees, which agrees with the whole property of the angle in the semicircle is a right angle. So this angle up here is a right angle, which means that this must be the diameter of the circle. So you need to explain that in your own words. The last thing that we're asked to find here is angle ABC. So if we look, angle ABC, well, that's this one here. So ABC, this angle here. And if we look, the whole thing here is a cyclic quadrilateral. And we know that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, so this one plus this one, must equal 180 degrees. We know that this angle over here is 78 degrees. So this one here must be 180, whoop, 180 minus 78 degrees.